good everyone? My name is Carlos and I'm a second year student at MIT studying biological engineering and welcome to my YouTube channel Slyteens. In today's video, our first video of this channel is basically directed towards you the student who might be interested in getting into the sciences. Uh, particularly, we're hoping to engage students that are high school students, but if you're a college student, middle school student, elementary school student, by all means, I hope this channel is useful for you guys. But before we get started with everything that we want to offer through this channel, I just want to say that today's video is going to be based on why a student should go into the sciences, whether it's you at a high school level trying to decide to take science classes or to start your own science project. I want to make a case for why you should get involved in STEM fields and why is it such a cool thing to do. And hopefully uh, with my personal opinion and my past experience, I can pass that on to you guys and perhaps you guys can learn something that can be useful. So let's get started. So I don't have to say this, but I'm sure you guys see the impact of science everywhere throughout your lives. And for those who don't see it, I don't know if you guys just watched the new release of PlayStation 5, the new controller, the new console. Well, interesting enough, when I was in middle school, I used to be a huge gamer. I loved playing FIFA 14. And while I was playing these video games, I would occasionally rage quit and I would just break my controller. So one day I decided to do research on these controllers and kind of see why they broke so easily. I mean, what could a light tap to the ground do them? And what I realized is the controller for a PlayStation 3, which I'm popping up here, basically the ideas that came behind the design or perhaps the functionality, it actually occurred thanks to the NASA Space Shuttle program where they use controllers like that to be able to create controls for the space shuttle. So that kind of took my interest and saw, okay, so if scientists are designing some of the things that eventually I use, whether it's for entertainment or for my everyday life, then what can stop me perhaps from pursuing a field? I wouldn't say I was necessarily attracted to electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, some of those fields that are predominant in creating like consoles or video game controllers. But for me, that basically said that you can see the impact of science everywhere. And I hope you guys, seeing that, perhaps get inspired and try to look for opportunities and getting involved and kind of sparking that curiosity and see where you can go with it. I mean, if that's not enough, just check out your Instagram feed, Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media platform you're on. Headline after headline, you'll see things such as climate change. You'll see currently right now coronavirus. You also see casual oil spills that happen throughout the world. But what should really be important with these messages is basically that there's always going to be a demand for students who go into STEM, meaning there's always going to be a job opportunity. So without further ado, that takes me to my first point on why you, the student, should get involved in the sciences. So in job opportunities, actually doing some research, which all the links and every resource that I use is going to be found in the link below if you would like to look in more into it. But basically from 2012 to 2022, it was expected that there would be a 1 million job growth opportunities for STEM related fields. Now that might seem irrelevant right now to you, the high school student, but perhaps when your parents watch this video, or if you want to convince your parent why you want to go to college, or why you want to get a degree in the sciences, you got to tell them that there's a future in going into these fields. Sure, I can go ahead and pop up the top five jobs here that are creating new job opportunities, job openings. But by the time you watch this video, whether it's a year from now, I'm sure there's going to be new job creations because all the innovation that's going on in STEM, we have to keep up with it and create new fields and integrate two different fields, whether it's biology and engineering, you have biological engineering, that causes a demand for students who might have a passion. So the second point I would like to talk about, and just for a brief moment, is the salary that comes with some of these jobs. And I have to say this, and I'm not here to offend any other degrees or majors or whatever you're studying or whatever you're looking into studying, but it's been proven on average that a STEM major, once you're out of college, once you get a four-year degree, you're gonna be paid more than someone starting a job in a non-STEM related field. That does not mean, though, that directly after college, you really have to go into your industry, whether if you study biological engineering, chemical engineering, or just interested in physics. That does not mean after you graduate, you have to go into that field to get a job there. For some of you in the future, 
which I won't talk about that much because I am a college student right now, so I'm currently trying to figure these things out as well. But basically, what I want to say is that you shouldn't worry about this right now, but from a financial standpoint, you should feel secure and at least know that there's something rewarding that can come out of it, at least with a monetary value, by studying the STEM fields. So I know talking about jobs and talking about salary, I mentioned that you need a college degree. Well, I'm sure for some of you, it's, you might have that question, what if I can't afford college? Or what if my parents are not in a good financial situation to send me to college? Well, I'd just like to say that I was in one of those positions as well, and I had to consider ways of being able to, being able to pay for my education. And one of the cool things about science, and I guess it's one of the perks, if I were to mention it like that, is that for students who are looking into getting a degree in whatever it is, mechanical engineering, biological engineering, there are organizations like huge corporations, such as the Bill Gates Foundation, Google, local scholarships as well, whether it's through Lockheed Martin, which is a defense company. There's tons of scholarships out there that are meant for students like you who are trying to get involved in the sciences. And these scholarships are not normal scholarships. These scholarships are aimed towards students who come from minority backgrounds. There's also scholarships available for those who, yes, since elementary school, they've been super passionate about sciences. There's a scholarship for almost everyone. And in the link below in the description, I have listed some of the scholarships that I've been able to find through websites. I wouldn't hesitate to also reach out to your local counselor, as I'm sure they're aware of local scholarships that you could benefit from. Of course, you're going to need some good grades. So if you're slacking in class, I think now is the time to kind of pay attention to what your teacher is saying. Because at the end of the day, if you're a student athlete or someone who's really trying to go to college, sure, you can get a scholarship through other means. But as well, getting a scholarship because of a field that you're passionate about and because of something you want to do in the future is always great. And it really points out what I'm trying to say throughout this video is that a lot of focus is being placed in STEM fields right now. And it, there is a need for students like us who can really go into a field, dive into it, be creative, and find cool solutions to some of the things that are going on right now in the world. I hope some of the things that I mentioned in this video perhaps got you interested in going into the sciences. But what I did in this video was show a lot of things that per perhaps you already knew about or you can just research for yourself and make your own determinations. However, I do want to highlight that one of the things that we want to do through this channel and the reason why I say we is because SciTeens is also a nonprofit organization that is found online at www.sciteens.org. That it's aiming to bring more students, especially students who are minorities, who are students from parents that came from other countries, perhaps students who really didn't grow up with a good foundation and in and, and a good education system. Um, we want to make sure that everyone has at least an opportunity to get involved in the sciences. Heck, if you don't like it, at least you tried it and now you know that's not for you. But one of the cool things is that the next video we'll be talking about some of the programs available throughout the United States that I will be picking for students who perhaps don't have a good experience or a good science background but are engaged or interested in learning more about the sciences. So make sure to stay tuned. I would greatly appreciate if you could leave a comment or a like, a dislike if this video should be made better, and also make sure to subscribe.